Kiri Fakeheke no Ngati Tuara Ngatira, Ngati Kahangane Kite Wairoa, Kohariata Mariati Toku Ingoa, No Mai Ki Young, Gifted and Brown. So Cousins was a film that was initially a novel, it was written by Patricia Grace. It's about three cousins, Mata, Missy and Makareta, and their journey um, as wahine Māori, um, starting from when they're just young kōhine right up until their kuya. Uh, and I played the middle cousin called Missy. Action! Ngā aoho e toru. Ngā e toru. Missy, she's the middle cousin. Koya te ahika o tōna fano. Ahika is like the stronghold of um, yeah, of her family. She's the one who stays and tends to the land, takes care of the whenua. She's a bit bossy. She's funny, um, and she's like the glue that keeps the other two cousins together. She really keeps everyone like this. You knew, didn't you? I think of Māori culture and I'm like, we have more tia tia, which is, we're storytelling, you know, we're telling our history. We've got like unchanged pūrāko, unchanged like legends that have been around for hundreds of years because we're storytellers. People at uni would come up to me and just mahi to, like, mahi to me and to the story. Um, and it was, it was just nice to hear that they felt like the story had lots of value and they felt valued from it and they felt heard and seen from it and being able to see, um, of course, a brown face on the screen yeah, was really good for them. And yeah, good for me too. There needs to be more Māori creations and yeah, just more Indigenous creations and with women at the forefront, you know. My mama and papa both work in the industry. So pretty much i tipuo i raro i te korowai o te ao whakari. I like have grown up um, with like a connection to this industry. Um, both my parents worked in theatre though, so we're like a theatre family and they use theatre as a means of therapy for like offenders and for victims. And it's about like, you know, trauma can get really stuck in your body and through performance, you're able to kind of work through that trauma from the body and bring it out and express it. Yo, so this is my mum. This is my mum on my left side, and this is my papa on my right side. When I stand on the ground, you know, I'm standing on Papa Tuanuku, I'm feeling her as well, and that's, yeah, complete just grounding. Um, the left side of the body as well in Te Ao Māori, that's like your taha wahine, it's like your feminine kind of energy, and then um, taha mato is your, yeah, masculine thing, so I just, Koi nei, yeah, that's that. I do six papers this semester. Five of them are law papers, and then I just have one. One paper that is the best paper that I have taken and is my favourite paper, and it's Decolonising Methodologies, um, and that comes under the Faculty of Māori and Indigenous Studies. What I saw was that studying law and understanding how our political climate is shaped and how our political systems are shaped and who are they shaped by and who are they shaped for, that's the reason why I've chosen to study. And that really coincides well with storytelling. It's so important to know your mother tongue and know the language of your tipuna because that is where the connection is. Like, Te reo Māori is an inherently spiritual language and yeah, ko te reo Māori, te waharoa, te ao Māori, it's the gates to the Māori world. My family are so proud of me and they just, you know, are just like, just keep going on your haerenga, whatever you want to do, if it's, yeah, if it's for, with the right intentions and, you know, moving with purpose, then it's always going to be good, yeah.
Tēnā koutou te whānau, wā kua pau, te hau, kua taka, te kapa, koe nei te wā mutunga. You've been watching Young, Gifted and Brown.